So sometimes a car comes out for GTA 5, usually a mod, and there's not much to it, but it is just so, oh, just so deliciously good that I just have to check it out and do a video, even if the video is only very short. And as you guys may know, from those of you that have seen my channel for a little while, I absolutely love this real life version of this car. This is now the law friendly version of this car, brought into GTA 5. It is this. Get a load of this. This is the Vapid Sabo Sabot. It's supposed to be like the Ford GT90. A little shame that we don't have the triangle with the exhaust because that is one of my favorite parts of the GT90. However, this is still really cool to see this car recreated inside of GTA 5. I'm always a fan of that. I'm never going to knock it. And look at this. What an absolute winner. And we also have an automatic rear spoiler. This is the, let's take our fingers down here instead of... It's very hard to say stick your foot down when you're playing a game. I'm playing with a keyboard. I'm sticking my finger down. We do actually have this nice automatic spoiler. Whoops, get back on the highway. Yeah, look at that. What a winner. This is such a cool car. Even, even this version, even though it's not the GT90, there's still something about this shape that is just really oddly appealing to me. And whilst my driving is absolutely terrible because I'm too busy admiring the car. Oh, man. Whoop. Okay, right. Let's just go ahead and repair this. And let's just park up and take a closer look. I want to get off the motorway here for a second. This is just one of those cars that I just want to keep driving just so I can look at it because it's just so nice. Whoop. Well, I'm going to have to repair that again. Okay, so let's just open the door. The door's open like usual. We open up the bonnet, which is at the back. There is no trunk. Go ahead and have a look around. Do we have our interior? Sadly, this is taken from a more modern car. This is supposed to be a car from the 90s. Uh, so the interior does look a little bit out of place on this one, but it's still fine. And then we go around to the back where we have this big, massive engine. Now, I actually don't know, or can't remember actually, what engine's supposed to be in the GT90. In this case, I guess it's supposed to be a V12. I mean, that's always welcome. A V12 is always welcome, no matter what car it's in. I'm actually kind of annoyed with myself that I don't know what engine's supposed to be in the GT90. But again, this was a car that I looked at when I was a small child. And when I was a small child, I mostly just cared about how it looked. I didn't really stress about what sort of engine went in it. Oh, this is so cool, though. So damn cool. <laughs> If we go to menus customs, we do actually have some liveries though. We do actually have some liveries, but we don't really have much else in the tuning parts department. I don't know if we have anything in extras. No, okay. So on the liveries, we have the stock. We have the bourgeois. With this nice cognac. Bourgeot. I guess that's so, so it's actually, I'm presuming it's supposed to be called the sabot and not the sabot. So we have this version with all the gold details. I'm going to do a couple of builds of this, just a uh, different kind of combinations. We also have the digital den. I mean, I gotta admit that I do just love this in its nice pearly white look. We have the key sama as well. We've got the sakura along the sides. And we've also got a Tory gate on the top. Then we have the spenders. Interesting look as well. I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever actually seen one of these with racing liveries on. I've only ever seen it as a white car. I don't know if it ever did have another version with racing liveries. Uh, we do have a nice Grand Touring reference uh, in relation to Gran Turismo in real life. That one's not too bad, so that's the atomic one. Then we have the Estancia. Ah, this is actually quite interesting in black with the white lines. Very cool. Then we have the Princess Robot Bubblegum, of course. Naturally, always going to have some sort of Itasha style thing, it seems. That's like the new go-to thing. Everyone just seems to have Itasha liveries now in cars. And then we have the GT Stripes, which is just... As you can see, these white stripes here, which I think I'm going to go for and see what other really cool colour we can get this car. We might want to get on some flatter land, though it's a bit rocky over here. And also, no, I haven't missed the fact that this does actually have three spoke wheels like the original. Always a, always a winner. So let's just go and change the paint and see what cool colour we can come up with. Oh, just the black. Ooh, and I don't normally go for black cars. Although the Pulsar that we did recently, I did like in black, but it's been an exception. Maybe I'm into black cars lately. Oh, it does look good in red. 
I think it's just the white stripes. That white stripes is just a solid look for a quite a lot of cars. Yeah, I'm cool with all of these colors. These are all cool for me. I think white is the ultimate winner, but I think for this first build, I'm going to go for black, and then I'm going to change the wheels and see what other three-spoke designs we have here. I mean, we could go for that. <laughs> Not in blue, though. Not in blue. We might have to change this to uh, a black or a white. Ooh, the white's nice. I'm going to go for the white. And maybe that in all solid white or just all chrome. I quite like that in all solid white. And then, of course, I'm going to go to V-Stancer. I'm not going to change the size of the wheels. I think they're fine, but I will make it a little bit wider. And then we'll just drop this down at the front. Oh, that's at the rear I'm going. Okay, let's drop that down at the rear. Let's get this all slammed down. Get a bit of rear camber. Sure, why not? Let's dance a GT90. Why not? Or stance a Sabo, I should say. And then at the front with a bit of camber just to tuck that in. Well... How about that for a build? How about that for a picture? This road's actually... I've never really paid attention to this road before. It's the road to the prison. This is a good road for getting pictures on because it's just a big, large, empty road. Man, this looks cool. Look at this. Look at that. That's a thumbnail right there. And there we are, all slammed down to the ground. Hmm. Now, I've got a very funny idea for a build. It's going to be absolutely terrible, but I'm very curious to see how it looks just because I wanted to have a look that was just the complete polar opposite of what this car stands for. And so that's why I'm going to give it an air-cooled style look, if you know what I mean. This could get interesting. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, it was a terrible idea. <laughs> it didn't really work out. I decided to go for a hot roddy style look, a sort of air-cooledy hot roddy look. I don't think it works. I don't think it works in the slightest. I went for this matte custom blue. I've decided to start using the RGB values for paint a little bit more now. Just to make our builds look a little bit more unique. But yeah, this is... This is kind of weird looking. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst. It's just very weird and different. Very weird and different. I made sure to make the wheels bigger as well to fit in the arch. But do you know what? It's a small video. I just wanted to check this out. Let you know that this exists. Very cool. Always a fan of the GT90. And to see a law-friendly version inside of GTA 5, that's a winner. I would like to see Rockstar try and come up with their own rendition of this. As I'd like to see what they would do with it. I imagine they'd probably make it have some sort of weaponry or something. But either way, this is very cool. My throat is now dead from this little recording session I've been having. So I'm going to leave that there for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye!